Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss one problem regarding the state space analysis. Here, first the problem, obtain the complete response of the system. So he is asking to find out the complete response. He given x dot equal to into x that means it represents ax. So x of 0 he given for 0 input he given 1 comma 1. He given y equal cx and that means he given x of 0 and he doesn't given any input. Look at here is there is no input. So that's why the input of the system is 0. That's why it has homogeneous state equations directly. It consisting of the homogeneous state equation. So we have to find the solution for this homogeneous state equation. So he is asking to find out the response. That means we have to find out the response is nothing but we can write like this. He given already response value. The response is y equal to 1 comma minus 1 is the matrix and x of t. So by doing this we will get the response. First what we need to find out? We need to find out the x of t, this value. So what is x of t? x of t is state transition matrix. But here the input is 0. That's why it is it consisting of the 0 input response. So 0 input response means what is the solution? The solution is e power a t into x of 0. So by doing this e power a t into x of 0, we will get the solution. First, we need to find out the e power a t first. So how to find out the e power a t? So e power a t we can write like this Laplace inverse si minus a si minus a whole inverse. So we should find out this value then we will get this. So how we can find out Laplace inverse of adjacent, adjacent of si minus a whole inverse by data of si minus a whole inverse then we will get the solution for this so first what is si minus a we should write first what is the a value so this is the x dot equal ax plus u you given the a a is the 0 1 minus 2 0 and from this we will find out the si minus a so si minus a what is s si means 0 0 s and what is a? a is 0 1 minus 2 0 so by doing this we will get s minus 1 2 and s okay s minus 1 2 s yes. so this is the 2 by 2 matrix we will get the s this is the 2 by 2 matrix for this we should find out the adjoint and debt. So what is adjoint here? We will get adjacent is adjacent of SI minus A. How we will get it? So how we will get the adjacent? Just exchange diagonal elements. So both are same and you have to add negative, negative of the non-diagonal elements. So if you change it, it become S and S and here minus 1 become the plus 1 minus 1 become the plus 1 and here plus 2 become the minus 2 plus 2 become the minus 2 so this is the adjacent of the SI minus A whole inverse what about data A so how we will find out the data A data A is so diagonal elements minus multiple um, the product of diagonal elements minus product of non diagonal elements Diagonal elements equal S into S. Diagonal elements equal to S into S plus non-diagonal elements plus 2. This is the 2. By that we will get S square plus 2. S square plus 2. So finally we can write SI minus A whole inverse is like this. SI minus A whole inverse value is like this. That is debt 1 by s square plus 2 by and this is the matrix s yes, 1 minus 2 yes so by doing this we will get by doing this we will get 
s y s square plus 2 and 1 by s square plus 2 and this is minus 2 by s square plus 2 and s by s square plus 2 s square plus 2 so this is si minus a whole humus but what we want we want laplace inverse of we want laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse si minus a whole inverse okay si minus a whole inverse so how we will getting laplace inverse so by by applying the laplace inverse to this how to modify this laplace inverse of so to get these equations we should modify like this this is s by s square plus root 2 whole square what about this 1 by and we have minus 1 there yes we have minus 1 it become the plus 1 I think so here we can write we need root 2 here that's why multiply and division with root 2 and the remaining is s square plus root 2 whole square what about this we can modify like this minus root 2 into again root 2 and s square plus root 2 whole square and this is divide with 1 by root 2 into root 2 so no need root 2 here because already s is available there so directly whenever s is there no problem with that s by s square plus root 2 whole square root 2 whole square now you apply the laplace inverse to this each and everything then what happen this is s by s square plus root 2 laplace inverse what we will get cos root 2 t cos root 2 t and what about this and this is 1 by root 2 into and uh, this is sine root 2 t and what about this minus root 2 into minus root 2 into and this is cos root 2 t again so this is sine root 2 t because root 2 is there sorry sine root 2 t and this is yes so this is cos root 2 t this is laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse so what we will get laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse into x of 0 we should find out for x of 0 then what happened so what is x of 0 there so i will write x of 0 here no again right here the remaining part is cos root 2 t minus root 2 sin root 2 t 1 by root 2 sin root 2 t this is cos root 2 t into 1 comma 1 and if you are doing what we will get multiply with this cos root 2 into 1 we will get cos root 2 into t plus 1 by root 2 into sin root t this is the one equation what about another equation minus root 2 into sin root 2 t plus cos root 2 t yes okay and finally what we will get we require what we will require we require y of t how we will get the y of t we require y of t y of t is already given initially the value is the y of t is 1 minus 1 x of t so you should take 1 minus 1 is here 1 and minus 1 what about the equation the equation is cos root t root 2 t plus 1 by root 2 sin root 2 t cos root 2 t plus 1 by root 2 
sin root 2 t and next minus root 2 sin root 2 t plus cos root 2 t minus root 2 sin root 2 t and plus cos root 2 t plus we have cos root 2 t okay cos root 2 t okay now we will do the multiplication here then y of t is become 1 into this term 1 into this term means we will get the same term that is cos root 2 t plus 1 by root 2 sin root 2 t minus 1 into this term minus 1 means it become minus into minus plus root 2 sin root 2 t and minus 1 into something we will get minus cos root 2 t so this place cos root 2 minus cos root 2 will become cancelled and what about y of t y of t is like this 1 by root 2 plus root 2 we will get so if you common sin root 2 t both the terms we will get sin root 2 t is the common and the remaining part is 1 by root 2 plus root 2 finally sin root 2 t equal if you common the root t 1 plus 2 this is the y of t from this y of t equal to 3 by root 2 into sin root 2 t so this is the output of the given state space system this is the output of the given state space system that is 3 by root 2 sin root 2 t okay so whenever the problem is given like this x dot equal ax model and x of 0 and y equal this model then if he is not given the input then directly we will use this formula that is he given he mentioned y of t value is this is the mention and we need to find out the x of t state state formula is this is the formula by using this formula first we will find out the e power a t that is transition matrix e power a t is state transition matrix so after finding that we will apply the in the output equation we will get the output equation okay so i hope all of you understand this session thank you